Why are you so tense? Uh, I wonder why, Kenneth. Is it because I'm blindfolded? <laughs> don't you trust me? Okay, wait, don't answer that question. Huh? <laughs> okay. You may see it now. <sighs> Ta-da! What's all this? Kenster Studio. And as the wife of the boss, you have the honour of gracing the opening. Kenneth, you are serious about opening your own company? D, see this face? This is my serious face. <laughs> you see this? This over here? This is the Lord Durian Commander. I stayed up all night drawing this. And this, and this. And I tell you, there's more from where that came from. You mark my words, D. You don't have to worry about money anymore because this game is going to be even better than Potato Wizard 3. It's going to be huge. Ha! Hey, Kak, I'm going to work. Thanks for breakfast. Ibu would approve of what you're wearing. Do you have everything with you? Perhaps he's here. I spoke to him yesterday. He won't bother you anymore. Okay, thanks, Kat. Anyway, I better get going. Okay. First drug possession. Now fighting. When will you ever stay out of trouble? People want to hunt me, what can I do? Are you sure you don't recognize the person who did this? I'm sure. Why would anyone randomly want to beat you up? Mistaken identity. Mom, a doctor friend is here. What is he doing here? I told him to come check on you. You caught him? What for? I'm okay. You might think you're okay, but you might have internal injuries. After what happened with Ella, I'm not taking any chances. Choi. <sighs> Dr. Shen. I know you're very busy at the hospital. I really appreciate you coming over. It's fine. <sighs> oh, hello, Durian Commander! Oh, my God! I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, did I startle you? What do you think? <laughs> sorry. I just wanted to show you the prototype. <laughs> what do you think? How is this different from potato wizard? Durian is a fruit, and potato is not. And Singaporeans love durian, so <laughs> this game will be a hit. That's it. That's your strategy. Have you thought about how you're going to get the funding to make this? How are you going to make it profitable? All things will fall into place, D. Daddy, what is this? What happened to Potato Wizard? Potato Wizard is history. Say hello to Lord Durian Commander! Huh? huh? Your daddy is working on a new game and... What's the name of the new game? Durian Knight Royale. Yes! Durian Knight Royale! Did you just come up with that name? Yes, I did. As a matter of fact, there's more from where that came from and I can feel the ideas oozing out of my paws. I have a good feeling about this. <laughs> Lane number one, are you ready to fight the Prata Piranhas? Yes! yes! Prata Piranhas? You have a better name? Daddy, the Prata Piranhas are on the attack! Then what are you waiting for? Go get them! Hey, kids, be careful! Your ribs are bruised but nothing seems to be broken. Though if the pain persists, you should go for an x-ray. Thanks for your help. So, this fight, you were saying it's three on one? Yeah, I was outnumbered, but I managed to fight my way out. With or without weapons? Of course, my bare hands are. A true fighter never uses weapons, okay? You must be a very good fighter then. No sign of any injuries on your hands? Or do you use your ribs to fight them? Looks to me like you didn't fight back at all. You just let yourself get beaten up. Mommy, come join us! 
doing on the floor. All right, stop it. Nathan, Nina, go back to your room. Dee, they were just playing. Ananya almost fell down and hurt herself because of this mess you created. Mess? <laughs> These are plans for Kenster Studios' first ever project. Kenster Studios? It's that dream he gave up his stable income for. I know what I'm doing. Of course you do. You're so sure you didn't even discuss it with me. I've been in this business a long time to know what it takes to make things work. Just trust me. Trust you? Have you ever given me any reason to? What do you mean, Dee? Do you not believe in your husband? All these years of marriage amounts to nothing? Dr. Shen, I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. I'm having some problems with my overseas supplier. I'm just on the phone trying to sort it out. It's okay. Your daughter is fine. She just has some bruises and some superficial wounds. Thank goodness. Thank you so much for your time. Where are you going? Out. No, you're not. You're grounded. You're joking, right? If you can't stay out of trouble, then you're staying at home. This is ridiculous. I'm not a kid. Ayo, on second thought, you should have that x-ray. X-ray? Why? Better to be safe than sorry. I'll grab my bag. I'm coming with you. Mr. Shelley, I'm heading back to the hospital. I'll bring you with me. You mentioned you had some problems to settle. Thank you very much, Dr. Shen. Call me when you're done. I'll come pick you up. How can I trust you when you go behind my back and quit your job? If I didn't force the truth out of you, God knows how long you're going to keep it from me. I was waiting for the right time to tell you so that you don't freak out like you are doing right now. You left a well-paying job and left us all in a lurch because of your dream. Yes, it's my dream. But it's not just a dream. I know it can work. Dee, the kids can hear you. There are no guarantees, Kenneth. You're good at creating, but you suck at business and we've got bills to pay, Kenneth Bala. Why don't you have faith in me? Because I know you. I know how impractical you are. How long does it take to create a game, huh? Three months? Six months? That's almost half a year without income. Dee, calm down. Okay, getting so worked up is not good for your... Money, money, money. That's all you care about? Because you don't, so I have to. How can you do this, Kenneth? How can you quit your job? Why don't you trust me? I had no choice. I had to do it. You mean someone put a gun to your head and fuss you? All right, that's enough. Okay, why don't both of you just take a time out and talk about this calmly later? In the meantime, clear up this mess. Come on. Come on. Thank you, that'd be great. Are you okay? You've been coughing since yesterday. I'm fine. D, if you're worried about money, don't. Okay, I've got savings. I can. It's okay. We're okay for now. I don't understand, Kenneth. He couldn't have picked a worse time to quit. Maybe I should just tell him I've got cancer. That might wake up his idea. I should have a word with him. Ananya, you're not going to tell him no. about... After he fled up just now, there's something going on. I'm going to find out what... So smart. Using the x-ray is an excuse to get me out of my house. Hey, Who says it's an excuse? You really are going for that x-ray. Are you serious? Hey, why'd you follow me here? I wanted to see what you're up to. So why do you come here? You're looking for someone? 
The person beat me up. So you're here for revenge? Of course not. Worry about her. So you're looking for her? Let's report to the police. She assaulted you, that's a crime. No! Look, I don't blame her. Okay, she just got out of prison. She ended up in a bad company. I want to help her. Help? How are you going to help her? Anyway, I can. She needs money. I'll give her money. I have money now. Allowance. That's how you're going to solve her problem. By throwing money at her. She's just going to make things worse. You have money now. Use it wisely. Careful! <laughs> Kenneth. Kenneth. Yeah? You want another tau hui? You are eating from the children's bowl. Why am I? <laughs> Wait. Where are the children? I asked Farah to bring the children to the supermarket. You need some space. You look like there's something bothering you. My wife and I had a big fight. What happened? I told her I quit my job. But you have a good reason too. The thing is, I... I didn't tell her the real reason. Why not? She should understand. No, I, I can't tell her. People shouldn't be leaving cat food all over the place. It's unsanitary. I'll talk to her when I see her. Do you know the person who's feeding the cats? Chikamira. She's the only one who feeds the cats here. And sometimes I feed them too. She usually cleans everything up, but I guess there's not she forgot. Old people tend to be forgetful. Eh? Hey, you got time for lunch? Um... Come, my treat. Why can't you tell her? Forget it. It doesn't matter whether she knows the truth or not. Yeah, she should know she's your wife. Yes, she should. What are you doing here? Looking for you. You're always here anyway. Happy, sad, angry. You're always here. I, I better get back to work. Okay, I know why you're here. You're here to scold me. So go ahead. I'm ready for you. What are you waiting for? Mr. Wong, thanks for agreeing to meet again. I apologize for the other day. It's okay. I understand you were just standing in for Louis. Your colleague has explained everything to me. My colleague? You said you wanted to talk. Let's talk. <laughs> nice try. What are you talking about? You, you, you're trying to psych me out to get, get me to tell you something so that you can go and report back to her. Yeah? You are her spy. You're always on her side. Of course I am. I'm her best friend. You quit because of Douglas, right? What? How do you know? I have my sources. Spill it. Well, Douglas has been taking the freelancers for a ride. To cut the long story short, he has been making them work for him FOC by promising them that he will eventually give them the job full-time. I found out about his monkey business while we were in China. Actually, there's nothing illegal about that. It's a matter of principles, Ananya. I just couldn't work for someone who rips people off. You really are stupid. <sighs> See? I knew it. No, not for quitting. For not telling D this. I know I was impulsive. I, I, I should have kept calm. I bitten the bullet, plan, cancel studios, get everything organized and then quit my job. But I couldn't take it anymore, Ananya. Kenneth, you have a family to feed. You could have at least found a job before quitting. Everything happened for a reason. This gives me a chance to set up my own studio. It's been my dream for years. On one hand, I know this idea will freak D out. But on the other hand, it's now or never, Ananya. If I don't do this now, I will never get the chance to do this again. On the third hand, she'll kill me and my family by staff. But on the fourth hand, if, if I kill my dreams, I'll be miserable. And if I'm miserable, then my... Then my family's miserable. And...
Once again, Mr. Wong, thanks for meeting me. She was right. You're indeed a responsible worker. I look forward to working with you. She? Shira was singing your praises. The things she said, almost too good to be true. Oh. See you soon, Zarin. See you. Still not picking up? Hang up. She's obviously ignoring you. You decided what you want to eat? Should we eat somewhere else? This place is expensive. Home in Anchi. Uh, hi, can I get 50 ribeye steaks? No seasoning, diced, take away. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll decide what I'm going to eat later. I'm not crazy. <laughs> you read my mind. The steaks are for the furry friends animal shelter. Why so charitable all of a sudden? I don't know, I've always wanted to help the stray animals. And like you said, I have money now. I should use it wisely to help people. Lots of people in need. I mean, I'm going to Google charities. What should I get them? Washing machines, TVs, computers? Maybe I'll call some of the charities and then ask them what they need. You don't believe in doing things in half measures, do you? What measure? You go all out. Yeah, of course. Everything you do, will do properly. Quick, suggest things for me to get. How about socks? People need socks. Socks. I'm thinking big things, and you're thinking socks. <laughs> Sorry. It's the hospital. Hello? Francis Wong, did you rearrange that meeting for me? Yes, I did. What are you up to? Doing things behind my back? I'm doing this to save the company's reputation. Francis was angry at Louis's no show. So in order to salvage it, I had to convince Francis that it was all a misunderstanding and that he should meet with you again. Look, I knew you would react this way. That's why I didn't tell you about it. Zarin, I know we are not together anymore and that you don't want to have anything to do with me. It's tough for me to see you every day, but work is work. And I'm trying my best to be professional here. I have to go, it's the hospital. Sorry, I can't have lunch with you. Oh, okay. I already arranged for the steaks to be delivered. Let's go. You're not eating? I'm gonna continue talking with my friend. Still not giving up, are you? Never. If you give up, the person most disappointed is not you, but the one who loves you the most. Yeah, that's from a manga, Campus 7. That's what Sukaya says to Purple Girl, the encourager. You've read that manga? I've never known anyone who's read it. No, I did not. Someone said that to me a long time ago. Oh. So I gotta go. Remember to go to the hospital for the x-ray. Yala, yala. So, Kenneth did have a good reason to quit. Well, sort of. But that's not the point. The point is, he does feel sorry about quitting. And although it's all really convoluted in his mind, he does understand the seriousness of quitting. But he still feels he needs to chase his dream. Deans, you knew he was a big baby with big dreams even before you married him. He hasn't changed. No, he hasn't. But everything else has. You have, life has. I guess the question you need to deal with is, what do you want for this family? What do you want for him? Do you need him to abandon his dream? I prescribe Mr. Siva some painkillers. Monitor him every 30 minutes. Good thing you managed to rush back. Mr. Siva can be quite the attention seeker. <laughs> Sorry the house call took a while. Did she come in for the x-ray yet? Who? Oh, Michelle I mean, the new Michelle Lua Yok. Yes. No, she didn't. Better remind her then. By the way, this came for you by a speed post. An anonymous donor sent a box of socks for the children's ward for Christmas. You got one too. Anonymous donor. Maybe it's from a former patient. Socks are 
cute. I prefer chocolate. I get the hint. <laughs> Where have you been? Hey, bro. Sorry, you looking for me? We need to prepare a presentation for Francis Wong. He wants to know how his donation is being used. Right, right. He's giving us another chance. We can't afford to screw it up again. You know what, man? I'm kind of busy. i um, getting a new car. Can you ensure I handle this one? Sorry, bro. Kenneth. Ready. I uh, you know, Anania told you everything. I'm sorry. I know I'm irresponsible to quit without finding a job when I know I had a family to support. Can I...? You're right. <coughs> this family needs stability, and whatever principles I have just does not put food on the table. I should have just sucked it up and <laughs> stuck it out as Zingster. Anyway, um, I called a friend. He has a couple of freelance gigs that I can do. Don't worry, Dee. I know what I should do. I'm a husband. I'm a father. I have responsibilities. And that's my priority. I'll clean this mess up. I promise. I've been trying to invite Dr. Shen to watch a movie, but he insists that he's too busy. Really? Well, I guess I do keep him busy from time to time. Yeah, always telling me to do things I'd rather not. But you know what movie we should catch? Shaolin Dance Off? Shaolin Dance Off. Maybe you can learn some of the moves too, huh? I guess I can watch the movie too. Why don't we all watch it together? We can watch a late night movie. Ella, I'm honestly busy. All my nights are taken up by Matthew. Hey, you were the one who said you were free at night. Fine, whatever. It's your choice anyway. Why should I care about what you do for your late nights? 